damage. Now, this map is showing our air quality, purple and red spots with the unhealthiest air, green with the best. And you can see even some areas outside the fire zones are affected. Ken Bastidi is here with what that smoke means for your health. Ken. Yeah, Juliet, it is not good. It is unpleasant for most of us. And now, especially in the era of COVID-19, the smoke can lead to some serious health risks. It's really become the new normal that we have these mega fires that foul our air. Some doctors at UCSF laid out the dangers of the wildfire smoke to healthy people. Things like eye, nose, throat, and airway irritation. But for people with respiratory conditions like asthma or COPD and those with heart disease, it's even worse. The immune response is altered by air pollution exposure. Doctors believe the particles are tiny but powerful. So they're about you know, 20 to 30 times smaller than the diameter of a um, follicle of hair. Um, so very, very small, and they can get in and lodge um, deeply in the lungs and cause inflammation. Right now, they're not positive. The smoke can make you more susceptible to COVID-19 or worsen your symptoms. But some studies do make an association. You've already got symptoms from your COVID-19, more cough, more... Um, uh, shortness of breath, and now we've just given you another insult that could make matters worse. So what should high-risk individuals do to protect themselves? The advice is simple. Stay home if you can. Keeping the windows closed, having good ventilation, um, a closed, or closed ventilation, and uh, an, air, an air purifier if you can swing it. And as for mask wearing? That regular cloth masks probably do very little to protect you from, um, you know, the PM 2.5 and wildfire smoke exposure, um, but certainly they they will uh, mitigate the transmission of COVID 19. So there's definitely some some benefit there. Yeah. So what else can you do? Well, uh, doctors tell us stay on top of your medications, inhalers, blood pressure medicine, diabetes medications. And many of them are actually preventative, and also stay in close contact with your doctor.